This is Billy Ruth Hopkins Futurici on KCIW 100.7 on your FM dial, right here in beautiful downtown Brookings, where almost every day is a beautiful day and we can always choose to say yes. Life is indeed very, very good. Well, you may remember that this is a work of pure, unadulterated allegorical fiction, or what J.R.R. Tolkien liked to call feigned history. So, sit back, relax, suspend all disbelief, and let's continue with our tale. Let's continue with Anelita in Outer Space, which is my own creative spin on what I like to call feigned fiction. So any resemblance to persons living, dead, or yet to be born is, hmm, well, purely up to your own interpretations. The soundtrack music in this episode is by my grandnephew, Samuel Rex Spivey, and Brookings musician David Blink. This episode also features one of my own songs, Flying Again. So sit back, suspend all this belief, and let's see where all these wild characters are going to take us next. We are we love. Are one. We are the veil one. Is are love. We are love. The veil the we are one. is now dissolved. The veil we are one. Is now we are the veil of love appears. The veil of love appears. Harmony the veil of love appears. Forgiveness appears. Love appears. Love appears. Light appears. Forgiveness appears. Light replaced dependence. Fear with emergence. We are dependence. Emergence is the exchange. Emergence. The veil of emergence is the exchange. The three phase fountain. Love appears. Love appears. The way to harmony. The three phase fountain. Love appears. The way to life. Harmony and love. This is the one of his thirties. This is the way of his thirties. Oh, wait, wait, what? What, what were those voices? Well, it's just a dream, Angela. Go back to sleep. Wait till you see all the soldiers crossing across the frozen lake, their weapons slung across their backs. They're desperately trying to get to the shore. Oh, is that, was that a surge's chanting? Yeah, of course a question, Angela. Siempre estoy en tus sueños apoyándote. También estábamos oyendo a las voces ethereales. Oh, gosh. Am I ever glad to see you, Ether? Just, can, let me hold on to your tail. Can I hold on to your tail just in case? Yeah, just in case what, Angela? Well, I mean, if if this cloud we're standing on... on uh, well, I mean, if this cloud we're standing on decides to disappear, huh? Well, what are we going to do? Well, me aren't your dream, Angela. Don't let that happen. Can I do that? For supposed to, of course. For future reference, you can control your dreams. And you should. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. The third just at Swan Lake down there. We, we must be on our way home. Let's go. Wait, Mia, I think I remember it used to be called Sand Lake up until Earth was destroyed in that solar tsunami. Oh, never mind. Yeah, let's jump off this pink and gold cloud and fly down there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? Earth's been destroyed? Not yet, Angela. Not until 4332 anyway. Since this is your dream, just fly down there. Let's just fly on down there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What? 
two, breathe, Angela. Breathe. Oh, yeah, we go. What an amazing feeling. We're flying through the air. Oh, yeah, I love how that wind sweeps across my face and my hair and body. But it's not cold at all. It's just really fresh. And, oh, my stars, the smells, the smells are so beautiful. I can smell the roses and, oh, Wisteria, that's wisteria. It's wisteria like mom's arch trellis in the backyard. Oh, meow, yes. How I have always loved the smell of Fujihana in bloom. Yeah, let's fly all the way down to Swan, or, or Sand Lake, to see what's going on with those soldiers. The lake is all frozen over, look. Even the three-faced fountain in the middle is frozen. It looks like three filigreed ice angels. Ooh, they're so graceful and majestic. Oh, and now I can see that platoon you were talking about, that platoon of soldiers in camel crawling across the ice on their bellies. They're carrying their weapons on their backs. I better help them make it to the far bank before it's too late. Or so Angela. Yeah, that's your dream. You can have them do anything. Well, then watch this, Etheridges. The soldiers' weapons suddenly transform into their wings and they fly up and off in a V formation. Then I'll have them do a slow motion rotation until I can see their faces. Oh, oh yeah, look, look, that one in the front of the V, the leader. That's my grandpa, Joe Hopkins. And right behind him is my dad, Sal Perez. Where are we now, Angela? Oh, we're back at Mom's place now, looking at an old photo, the one with Grandpa Joe in his uniform, kissing Grandma Gaga right before he left for Vietnam. And now, whoa, this dream is all over the place. Now we're back in Santa Cruz. I'm on top of the mast of a big sailing ship, swaying back and forth. I'm just about to take off and fly across the whole Monterey Bay. Whoa, that was one of Mom's songs that she wrote back then. Hey, now we're dancing in our living room, in that apartment that we had up there on High Street near the UCSC campus. Remember when Zergo and I were about five? Wow, dreams are so strange. Well, I wonder what happens next to Thurgis. Es tu sueño, Angela. Yeah, it's your dream. Whatever you want is fine by me. Well, I'm not sure what to make of this, Thurgis. Now I see my dad. I think, that, yeah, he's in Afghanistan. Look, he never made it back, did he? Why do we always have to lose the people we love? Oh, oh, oh. It is sad, Angela, but it looks like Angela needs some divine intervention before she wakes up. Let's flash back to the 60s. It's all in black and white, except for the red ribbons. As Grandma Gaga narrates, we can see her now as the 17-year-old Wanda Lightwing, a striking Native American young lady she is, too with that long braid wrapped around her head with flowers and feathers interwoven into the red ribbons. Looks like her high school gym is all decorated for a prom. Everyone's dressed up in mini skirts, high boots, and lots of fringe on some of those girls. Most of them have long straight hair and way too much makeup. Those hippy dippy sixties what can I say? El gustibus no disputan the mess. Then, now Wanda spots Joe Hopkins across the gym floor. It's like there's a spotlight on both of them. Oh, man, oh, man. What a tall, handsome fellow he is, too. Ebony skin, afro, hairdo, one of Pueblo's finest running backs from that rival school. I wonder what he's doing there at the gym. Hmm. Oh, look. 
Joel and Wonder lock eyes. Oh, they move slowly toward each other as if captured by gravity. Red threads connecting them. They begin to slow dance, weaving in and through the red threads. Other kids are staring in shock, scorn, disbelief, embarrassment. That group of blonde chicks over there are giggling and snaring. Hmm, way too disrespectful to repeat out loud. Angela, Angela, wake up. Time to wake up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wonder if Mama still knows that song. What a beautiful song. I I just can't seem to wake up, Grandma. Oh, I must have fallen asleep doing homework. Oh, that handsome Joe Hopkins. I can still see him at that age. Just looking at him, I couldn't help falling in love. Two weeks later, we ran off to the Justice of the Peace in Salida. Yeah, you should have seen my folks howling at the moon, thinking I'd come back. Huh. Whole reservation drummed while they tried to track us down, but we was gone. Then Joe enlisted, and we went to San Diego till he was shipped off to Nam. I was in this little hole-in-the-wall basement apartment waiting for Joe to come back. Who, what memories? Well, Angela, better wake up now. She's drifted off again. Angela, Angela, wake up, doll. Come on now, time to get yourself back home. Did you finish that homework? <sighs> yeah, Grandma, no, I, I must have fallen asleep while I was doing my homework and... Oh. I think you and Grandpa Joe were in one of my dreams. He never made it back from Nam, did he? And Mom was born right about the time. Yeah, Mom was born right about the time the officers came and knocked on your front door, didn't they? You've been telling us that story forever, Grandma Gaga. Yeah, sure have. Sure have. Doll said she was babies. Oh, we're babies, Grandma Gaga. Yeah, we're babies. Huh, <sighs> past indicative. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then what happens? Got myself stuck in this rock shop with UFO gizmos and junk. I, 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 I got a question, Grandma Gaga. Ga, ga, ga. Well, what's that, Zerko? Did, did your mom and dad ever accept you back into the re, 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 reservation? Zirko and Angela, I already told you that. So many times, she just don't listen sometimes. Wisteria's a half-breed, and in them days, nothing was ever easy, especially that whole race question. Oh, 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 yeah, now, I, I remember now, but what about, uh, what about your, what about your br 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 brother Elijah? What, what, was he on your side, Grandma Gaga? Well, yeah, I guess you could say that he was conscientious objector and all. Got a Native American scholarship, enrolled there at UCSC, and it was a mecca in them days. Uh, those days, I mean. So, yeah, Elijah majored in music. Made quite a name for himself, too. Elijah Lightwing, destined for the stars. Himself, not his self, Grandma Gaga. Just saying. Oh, don't get snarky, Angela. Yeah, caray, chicas, no hay que ser tan malcriados. Oh, Grandma, does any of this life ever get better with time? Yeah, how, how many times I have to tell you kisses? Time is relative. Things change, like look at them trees out there and them fallen leaves. But like I always say, something's always having to die before transformation can happen. Good, 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 Grandma. What, what, what the heck does any of that me, me, mean anyway? Well, Zirkle, just look at the trees and flowers. Them daffodils come back every spring. They didn't really die, did they? It's like Shibano. His spirit can still be seen up there every springtime as the snow melts and his image appears. 
a snow angel with those beautiful snowy wings raised high. And tears flowing out from his broken heart space, he waits for Annalita still, even after hundreds of years. Uh, those daffodils grumble. Uh. Things in this world are always going to be conflicted, you know, but, but like I always say, you have to focus on the good and keep loving and keep doing your best and keep helping folks. Love is the only way. Like I say, heartbreaks can be your teacher sometimes, Angela, as heartbreaking as that might seem. Oh, oh. I need to fly out here again. I ride a top of the The veil of fear, the veil of harmony fear. appears, forgiveness appears, the veil of fear. light appears through fear, replace dependence, forgiveness appears, with emergence. light appears emergence is the exchange, replace generation. The three things mountain is complete. Emerging to the exchange harmony and love for regeneration. is manifested at last. The three phase fountains is the way the of way to peace. Harmony and love is manifested at last. This is the way of his thirties. Well, I heard that, Angela. Maybe we all dream about flying out of Crestone, but you you better not disappear on us again like you done when you was fourteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to give Mom another heart attack, do I? You got that right, Angela. Mean or kai, chica? Por favor, no. But she's fine now, isn't she, Grandma Gaga? It's been two years, and, and she's taken her medication. I'm older now and wiser, too. Huh. Well, you better be. That's all I can say. Your ma says it was all my fault on account of my stories and my dreams. Uh, th- then you 
you, you, you better stop to stop to, to, to tell us all the, those dreams, Grandma Gogo, and st- 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 stories. It, if Angela d- 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 disappears again, it, it's not my f- f- fault. That's for, for, for sure. I'm, I'm staying put right here on er, er, Earth. Well, at least we got one cool head around here. Yeah, 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 and, and I, I, I'm ne- ne- never going go with Angela and to, to, to Jennifer out to those s- s- sand dunes again, either that, that's for, for sure. Last time I broke my one good, good, good leg when they pushed me down. Ha! Huh. Circle did not. Did, did, did too. Did not. Did, 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 did too. Oh, well, you two just stopped bickering about an accident that happened over a year ago. B- 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 believe whatever you want, Grandma Google, but that that was no uh, uh, accident, Angela. knows the t- 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 truth. So, Angela, what exactly is the truth? Ancient history, Grandma Gaga. Besides, Mrs. Dalloway says truth depends on your perspective of events. Is that right? Oh, hold on there, Missy. You mean like alternative facts? I don't think so, Angela. Oh, whatever, Grandma Gaga. And besides, Jennifer and I both apologized a long time ago. And besides, Jennifer was just all Twitter painted over that Chris and she was trying to impress him and... They were bullying Zerko, so she just pulled that cardboard out from under him. Chris and those boys from Salida were all laughing at me. Jennifer thought she was being so cool to pull that cardboard sled out from under me. Right, 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 when I was about to slide down that one big sand dune. Zerko, I said I was sorry. We just thought, well, sand is soft, and, and what could it hurt? Everyone was doing it. Doing what? Well, sliding down the sand dunes on cardboard sleds. Everyone does it, Grandma Gaga. And Jennifer just had to impress Chris by making poor Zerko roll down those sand dunes and break his leg? That's just plain mean, Angela. There's no other perspective of events. And and how is it that I'm just hearing about this for the first time? Does Jennifer's mom know about all this? Does your mom? Yeah, 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 yeah. They'll know, but but, 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 but I'm still mad about it. Well, I don't blame you one bit, Zirko, and... How come I been kept in the dark about all this for more than a year? Oh, Grandma, Ma thought you'd be on the warpath up to Salida School and telling the principal and getting all those boys in trouble. Well, I would it too, and what's wrong with that? Oh, so, hmm, being loving and compassionate and kind and peaceful to folks... It's just a lot of talk, is that right, Grandma? But it's fine for you to go start a range war with our rivals in Salida. Oh, hush, now just just get on home. Take your homework. Don't forget those pages. You got that history, Pete. Hey, Zerko, come on. Are you really upset with us after all this time? I didn't know you were going to break your one good leg. After all this time, are you still really mad at me? Time don't mean nothing, Angela. Zirkle will get over it when he's ready. There's whole countries and races out there still fighting even after centuries. But like I always say, time is time. What is time? Anyway, according to Einstein. Oh, my poor uh, stars. I don't need another lesson in quantum physics. She's over the edge again, Zirkle. Let's go. A third just, you make more sense than Grandma Gaga. Let's get going. I gotta finish that history paper. It's due tomorrow. And if they're just, you need to get back and finish your musical score. (laughs) Now who's over the edge? And don't be flying off into outer space again. 
No wonder Mom calls her Wacky Wanda. Let's get home, Thurgis. Let's go, Zerko. Meow, see, see, he my show. Let's go. Well, now, dear listeners, let's be careful. Or maybe we'll all be over the edge into outer space. Let's hope Angela gets that history paper finished and stays grounded on this earth until the next episode of Angelita in Outer Space. This is Billy Ruth Hopkins Futurici with KCIW 100.7 on your FM dial right here in beautiful downtown Brookings, Oregon. And if you've missed any episodes, you can always catch us on podcast at www.kciw.org forward slash Angelita's Wings. That's A-N-G-E-L-I-T-A-S dash Wings. Hasta la vista.